the zoo acquired a rare female gorilla species. After a few weeks, the veterinarian determined that she was in heat and needed a male. The zoo administration was in search of a male, but to no avail. Then, someone noticed the cage cleaner, John, who was known as a big womanizer. The administration decided to ask John for help. Would he sleep with the gorilla for a hundred dollars? John asked for time to think. The next day, he said he agreed, but under three conditions. First, no kissing. Second, no relationship with any potential offspring from the act. The administrator quickly agreed to these two conditions and asked John what his third condition was. I need another week to find a hundred bucks somewhere. A husband and wife are making love with the wife on top. She wants to try something different. Let's pretend we're in the rain. Take a shower head and spray water on my back. The husband does so and continues. But it doesn't feel right. There's rain, but no lightning. The husband moves a lamp and pulls a cord with one hand while spraying water with the other. Now there's no thunder. Bring a basin. The husband pulls the cord with one hand, sprays water with the other, and stomps his foot in the basin. Then he throws everything away and yells, Who the hell would want to make love in this kind of weather? Once upon a time, a prehistoric man lived in a cave. A woman came to him and said, Let me live with you. He asked, Why do I need you? She replied, I will clean the cave. He said, But it's already clean. She said, I will cook food. He said, I killed a mammoth, roasted it, so there's food. She said, Just let me stay for one night. He let her stay. The next morning, the prehistoric man comes out of the cave, stretches, winks at his private part, and says, So that's why I need you, leather tail, and I was using you to stun fish. A man and a woman are in a train compartment. They start talking. The man says, I have this feeling that my wife is cheating on me right now. The woman says, I have the same feeling that my husband is being unfaithful to me. How about we get back at them? They get their revenge. The man turns to the wall and sleeps. The woman looks at him, nudges him, and says, If I were you, I'd keep getting revenge, again and again. But I'm not one to hold a grudge. So, you've all probably seen these commercials for the dysfunction drugs. They say a possible side effect could be an on lasting for four hours. And if that happens, call your doctor. I say, hey buddy, if that happens, don't call your doctor. Call me. A man goes to the doctor and says, Doctor, I have a problem. My is turned blue. The doctor looks, doesn't understand anything. He asks, how is your life? Well, like everyone else's, my wife is insatiable. We do it seven times a day. Doctor, don't you get tired? I have four mistresses, and I have to visit each one, and with each one seven times. The doctor, amazed, asks, How about work? I have a young secretary. I can't resist. We do it probably five times. So what's wrong with me? The doctor, wiping sweat from his forehead, stammering. You're probably very overworked. Your body is reacting like this. You need more rest. Phew, thank God, doctor. I thought it was because I mate. Once a young family, the father, the mother, and their six-year-old son were at home. The mother was in the shower, and the father, after her, went to rinse his face. Not realizing that he had forgotten to lock the bathroom door, he saw his wife's naked body in the shower and decided to take advantage of the situation. He approached her from behind and started having intercourse. Meanwhile, their son opened the door, saw the scene, widened his eyes, and stood there watching. The father noticed his son and, not knowing what to do, 
pretended to scold his wife and started spanking her on the buttocks, saying, Don't hit our son! Don't hit! The son replied, That's right, Dad, and the cat too. Tell him not to scratch me either. Girlfriends share how they spent March 8th with their loved ones. The first one. It was horrible. Imagine, he took me to his house, straight to bed, finished in five minutes and fell asleep. What a nightmare. The second one. Oh, everything was like a dream for me. We went to a restaurant, drank wonderful wine. We went to his place. Two hours of foreplay, an hour of itself, and then we talked about everything for a whole hour. Super. At the same time, two men meet at the other end of the city. It was a great evening. We went straight to my place. She didn't nag. We had a I fell asleep, got a good night's sleep. I'm in a great mood. And I had some kind of horror. Had to drag myself to a restaurant. There the waiter, damn it, brought the most expensive wine. It was awkward. I had to take it. We got home. I couldn't get it up for two hours. Couldn't finish for an hour. Then couldn't sleep for an hour. Mary, the teacher, during the lesson. Children, make a sentence with the phrase, just in case. Little Susan raises her hand. Dad and I went to the forest, and just in case we took a basket, in case we saw mushrooms. Well done, Susan. Five points for the lesson. Little Michael raises his hand. Dad and I went to the forest, and just in case we took a bag, in case we saw empty bottles. Well, Michael, not great, but all right, sit down. Little Johnny raises his hand. My brother has a 25 centimeter. Mary. And where is just in cases in this? Johnny. Well, you can take his phone number just in case. A trolleybus. Everyone is standing so close to each other that it's almost intimate. A tall guy is standing with a girl, about 20 years old, and a grandma, about 80 years old, partially pressed against him. The guy keeps winking at the girl and tries to press closer to her, after which the girl suddenly exclaims, Pervert! The whole bus looks at the trio and silence falls. The guy, what are you yelling about? You've been stroking my balls for five minutes now and you're still yelling. The girl. I didn't even touch your balls. The grandma. Why are you staring at me like that? I just wanted you two to become friends. A man escapes from prison where he has been for 15 years. He breaks into a house to look for money and guns and finds a young couple in bed. He orders the guy out of bed and ties him to a chair. He ties the girl to the bed and he gets on top of her, kisses her neck, and then gets up and goes into the bathroom. While he's in there, the husband tells his wife, Listen, this guy is an escaped convict. Look at his clothes. He probably spent lots of time in jail and hasn't seen a woman in years. I saw how he kissed your neck. If he wants a don't resist, don't complain. Do whatever he tells you. Satisfy him no matter how much he nauseates you. This guy is probably very dangerous. If he gets angry, he'll kill us. Be strong, honey. I love you. His wife responds, He wasn't kissing my neck. He was whispering in my ear. He told me he was gay, thought you were cute, and asked me if we had any Vaseline. I told him it was in the bathroom. Be strong, honey. I love you too. A child asked his father, How were people born? So his father said, Adam and Eve made babies, then their babies became adults and made babies, and so on. The child then went to his mother, asked her the same question, and she told him, We were monkeys, then we evolved to become like we are now. The child ran back to his father and said, You lied to me. His father replied, No, your mom was talking about her side of the family. Finally, Johnny's older brother gets married. The morning after the wedding, the guests wake up, and the groom's mother invites everyone to breakfast. Everyone shows up, except for the newlyweds. They wait, but the couple doesn't appear. The mother wonders aloud, 
Why aren't they coming? Johnny, with a grin, says, I think I know. His mother quickly scolds him in front of the guests. By lunchtime, the newlyweds still haven't appeared. The mother again expresses her confusion, and Johnny, grinning mischievously, repeats, I think I know. He gets another scolding. Dinner time rolls around, and there's still no sign of the newlyweds. The mother is panicking. I just don't understand. Where could they be? Johnny, covering his ears, says again, I think I know. His mother demands an explanation. Johnny finally reveals, I think when my brother was looking for Vaseline in the cupboard last night, he accidentally took my model airplane glue. A man hires a f and they go back to his house. The man says, I have never had a 69 before. The hooker says, okay, let's try that. They get into position and she farts. The hooker says, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what's gotten into me. She goes into the bathroom to freshen up. She comes out and gets into position and again she farts. She says, sorry, I don't know what's gotten into me. Let me go freshen up. She gets into position again and she farts. She says, sorry, let me go freshen up. The man says, don't worry, I don't want 67 more of those. After Brian proposed to Jill, his father took him to one side. Son, when I first got married to your mother, the first thing I did when we got home was take off my pants. I gave them to your mother and told her to try them on, which she did. They were huge on her and she said that she couldn't wear them because they were too large. I said to her, of course they are too big for you. I wear the pants in this family and I always will. Ever since that day, son, we have never had a single problem. Brian took his dad's advice and did the same thing to his wife on his wedding night. Then Jill took off her panties and gave them to Brian. Try these on, she said. Brian went along with it and tried them on, but they were far too small. What's the point of this? I can't get into your panties, said Brian. Exactly, Jill replied, and if you don't change your attitude, you never will. A ten-year-old boy walks into a pool, dragging a dead frog on a leash. He approaches the madam and says, Can I have a girl? The madam says, Boy, how old are you? Get out of here. The boy takes a bunch of hundred-dollar bills out of his pocket and counts a decent amount. Okay, says the madam. You will have a girl. But you know, one condition. The girl must have a severe gonorrhea. You, young man, are completely swollen. The madam gets angry. All my girls are clean and healthy. The boy hands over a few more bills. Okay, go upstairs and wait. The boy goes upstairs. A girl with gonorrhea is urgently found. The boy does his thing and comes down, dragging the same frog. The madam is intrigued. Boy, could you please explain what's going on? You see, auntie, now I'll go home and my nanny will pester me. She'll get gonorrhea from me. Then dad will drive the nanny home and after in the car, dad will catch gonorrhea from the nanny and at night he will infect mom with it. In the morning the milkman will come, he's mom's lover, and mom will reward him. So what? The milkman is a bird. He killed my frog. <laughs>